discuss, so I'm very excited. If you're a country music fan, you've probably been familiar with our next guest, Hunter Hayes. You might not be familiar, though, with his furry four-legged best friend, Cole. So Hunter joins us this morning. Hunter, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, talk about your dog for us. I, I mean, get us familiar with how you got him and that whole story. Totally, yeah. Well, he's he's laying in the corner right now because he decided that he's just over being interviewed. But um, <clears throat> he's a, he's a retired racing greyhound, and I've had him for about two years. You can see all the pictures on Instagram. He's all over uh, Libby and I's Instagram, and and he's uh, he's the star of the show. There's no doubt. So I appreciate you having me on without him. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I mean, we 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 found him, and he's kind of lowered our stress. He's like our therapy dog. He lowers our stress level on the road, lowers our stress level here, um, and he's just the general all around uh, kind of uh, the vibe the vibe king you know yeah great and so obviously you're a dog person and you make time for him with your busy schedule so was that easy for you to work with um, you know heart guard and canine connection then absolutely so there I mean yeah this is this is an awesome thing that they're doing and I'm excited to talk about it because um, you know we always say like anything we can do for our military um, the answer is always yes we figure it out because uh, they figure it out for us they go through so much for us uh, especially our veterans who are returning home so heard about this thing warrior canine connections an organization that um, basically places service dogs with veterans but these service dogs are trained by veterans um, and they're involved with veterans their entire life so um, so this organization uh, it, doing all of this incredible work and then you have heart guard coming in and saying that um, one they want to send a veteran on an all expense paid trip to Nashville which I'm really excited for whoever gets to do that you're gonna love Nashville it's a great time to be here um, but with every nomination uh, of a veteran and we're asking basically everybody at home to nominate a veteran so go to heartguardian.com uh, nominate a veteran tell us about a veteran tell us about their story uh, if you know it if not tell us about them tell us about how they inspire you tell us about what you know their, their story you know if you if you know it and um, every nomination will be matched with a ten dollar donation by heart guard for warrior canine connections all the way up to a hundred thousand dollars and this happens until june 30th so we have a lot of time uh, but we want to see if we can get to that number as quick as possible um, to benefit Warrior Canine Connections and also to just spread the love to our veterans, show them that like we're here for them, we've got their back, and, uh, and this is a great opportunity to do all that. Well, Hunter, we hope we can get you to reach that number a little bit easier with the help of our viewers here at WCIA. And um, what else is on the store for you right now? Tell us anything fun that you have coming up. Lots, <laughs> a lot. Uh, this year, uh, this year is the year for, for ramping things up. I feel like we've been working on this new project for years now. I mean, years. It's been entirely too long. Um, so now we're kind of getting back on the road. Um, and we've got a bunch of tour dates that are uh, that were just announced. We've got a ton of stuff coming up. We've got a couple of big announcements coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, things are getting really kind of nutty around here in a good way, and I'm very excited about it because I'm ready for the world to hear this music. It's been entirely too long, um, and it's. Uh, yeah, it's time to get back out on the road and play this stuff. And do you have any favorite, you know, specific song to perform? I've always wanted to ask you that. Oh, wow. Uh, great question. Well, I, honestly, um, right now, because it, it does change, let's be honest, sure. every week. Um, to perform, though, I, uh, I think Amen. So there were three songs that we put out in September of last year that were kind of a preview to this next project. I just wanted the fans to see where we were instead of kind of waiting uh, for, for new music. And we released yesterday's song, um, which was the single, and Young Blood, uh, but as well as the song called Amen that just to me is about um, uh, about an answered prayer and about um, someone that kind of keeps you glued together. And to me, it was it was me praying for for guidance, for you know, for someone to, to help me through this, you know, this craziness that we call life, I guess. Even regardless of the music stuff, you know. Um, and I got that answered prayer in such a way that I had never expected. And I think we all kind of have a version of that. If we open our eyes, we can see someone that that's blessed us. So, um, for some of us, it's our four-legged friend, you know. So um, it, it's a, so it's called Amen, and 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 it really is close to my heart, you know. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. I think everybody can relate to that, especially your fans. And um, anything you wanted to say, anything else this morning for anyone? 
Uh, just go to heartguardians.com, guys. This is an awesome opportunity to show our veterans what they mean to us and to do something good for Warrior Canine Connections, which also shows veterans um, that we're there for them. So bless you guys for letting me talk about it, and thanks for the support in advance. This is going to be a great, a great thing. Thanks so much, Hunter, for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it.